Oh, you came! Hurry, you must meet with Lady Poan. Ah, maybe they are elves. Cool. Lady Poan, I have brought before you the human warrior that will save us all. My, my, what an adorable little warrior. Uh, adorable? He may not seem powerful, but... No excuses are necessary, Bella. I know all that transpired. Crim Crimson. That is your name, yes. You must possess some wonderful sort of power that enables you to see my kind. Therefore, Crimson, I must ask you a favor. Will you accept? I probably should not accept favors from fairies without knowing what they are. At least, you know, if anyone should go by Seely or un un -seely rules. That being said, I don't give a crap. I'm six, boy. Our treasure, the Flute of Spring, has been stolen away by some unknown force. Without this flute, we cannot bring spring into the world. Crimson, I beg of you, will you return the flute to us? Shall. Oh, you will help us? Bella, you will accompany him. Yes, Lady Poan. Bella, join the party. Crimson, I will pray that you successfully reclaim the flute. Okay, well that makes sense as to why the world's crawled. Yeah, it's cruel and cold. Crawled. Nice. What is Bella at? Level 7? Sweet! Uh, I want to talk to people first. Let's talk to your handmaidens. We are the fairy folk. We of the fairy folk do not possess the strength to swing a sword. Master Crimson, please, we implore that you listen to Lady Poan's pleas. Within here lies the church. Before you leave on your journey, it would be smart to pray to our Lord. This is the land that oversees the seasons, the land of fairies. If it continues this way, and we are unable to bring about spring, the world will freeze over. This really is some silly and own silly crap, isn't it? Nice. I like that. It kind of makes me feel like I'm playing Dragon Quest. Dresden Files Edition. That's a kind of dumb joke, but I'll roll with it. So it is written. Yes, I'll continue. Alright. So, let's see what these people want. Uh, what's even in their town, yo? Books I can't read because I'm six. My, so you are the human warrior called to aid in the retrieval of the flute. The vile thieves of the flute have set up their hideout inside the ice mansion. Yeah, sounds like un Unseely if you ask me. To the north lies the land of winter. In there exists a building called the Ice Mansion. However, the entrance to the mansion has been securely locked up with an ancient key. Okay. Are you about to tell me to go through the Temple of Hidden Skulls or some crap? I can't read. And still can't read. Still six. That hasn't changed. <laughs> Alright. Well, I guess I'm just gonna keep going. Lady Poan is just too naive. A place where fairies, humans, and monsters can live together? What was she thinking? That's why our treasure was stolen. I know what happened. The bad person who stole the flute headed north of here. Oh, wait, it's a slime, dude. Lady Poan truly is a kind of gentle soul. She even allows a slime like me to live in the village. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That, that, that thing you've got with you is a killer panther. It may be young, but there's no doubt about it. But how could the underworld's assassin, the killer panther, ever be tamed by a human? Uh, cause I'm that awesome? Duh. Oh, more dwarves. Yar, no wait. Aye, welcome to the Wayfarer's Hidden. One night's stay be twelve gold pieces. Will you be taking a room? No, 
And why do you sound like a freaking pirate? Ah, I love hot baths. Soak right through to the bone. By the way, have you heard about the dwarves in the western caves? No. Well, seems a long time ago they discovered a way to make something called the Thieves' Key and were banished from the village. If only Lady Poan had been in power, that never would have happened. I see what's going on. Lately, the flow... No, I laddie. Lately, the flow of customers have been getting smaller and smaller. Oh, well, what can I do? Welcome. This is a general store. We've got lots of stuff to choose from. What will it be? Uh... Nice. I'll cut this crap out. Alright, well, I just bought everything I needed from this dwarf. Now, let's go out and see where I can go. Oh, and what you're all at. I welcome this be an armor shop. What will you be needing? Uh, I guess I'm back to this. Okay, well, now... Okay, now that I've gotten that done, let's go out into the world. So, I gotta go north, but in order to get in there, I gotta get the key from the west. That is an apple with a face on it. Okay. And, uh, fight it. Spell. Uh, fireball. Let's try that. Nice. I figured Bella was gonna be the, uh, mage of the group. Though, very temporary, I'm sure. So, let's see. I heard West is some sort of thieves hideout. Uh, can I walk into mountains? That doesn't sound right. I mean, I guess I'm doing it, but it doesn't feel right. Okay, well, I'm gonna walk into mountains and see what happens, because why the hecky heck not? Mad plant was vanquished! I can literally walk over mountains. That feels wrong. I don't think I should be able to do that. Like, if I can walk over mountains, what are the actual walls and restrictions to the map? Is it the Grey Mountains that I can't walk over? I guess I'll find out in a minute. But, yeah, I was told to go west. Oh, jeez. There we go, there's a cave. Yay, I'm in the cave now! I'm in the cave now! Here's a sign! Some more bad guys! In my mind. But in all seriousness, though, let's go and get that key. That skeleton key. All right, what does it say? It says, restricted area. Do not enter, silly. Well, that's me. The sign shouldn't call me silly. Da -da 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 -da. I fully know that she said that and not the sign. Is that a baby dragon? Whoa. Holy crap. That boomerang is freaking awesome. I legit just hurt everyone. Everyone. That was nice. I, I like that a lot. Uh, blaze lizards. I guess it's like a dragon. I should just be calling it baby dragon. No, baby dragon quest. Am I right? No? Okay, I'll stop. Uh, everything's raised. I learned a new spell. Boroho leveled up. Yay. He's pretty beefy for a level three. Can't imagine how strong he's gonna be by the time he's my level. Hey, treasure chests. One of them's probably a mimic. I don't even know if there's mimics in these games. That's a very Final Fantasy thing, if I remember correctly. And Mario RPG. Jeez. Mario RPG's mimics, uh, one? They were 
freaking powerful. And two, they were freaky. Like, they just surprised the crap out of ya. I like that game, though. I might play it on the channel sometime. I got a medical herb. And another medical herb. No, just one. I got a hundred gold. And 25 gold. I know it's gold, not gold. Gold is a... Ooh, secret room. Dwarf. And more baddies to kill. Alright. Well, I'll kill him. I ain't got no problem with that. It's more XP's for me, bro. Alright, blue slime. Oh, oh, it's one of those fairies. I didn't steal the flute, I swear. Zella did. It was all him. That fool Zella. No, wait. Ar. I. I laddie. That fool Zella. What was he thinking? I was exiled by Lady Powan? Bah, what an idiot. And then he tries avenging me by stealing the flute? Human, please accept the secrets of the key as my humble apology. The secret of the key has been sealed deep within the cave. Please, lead Zala back onto the righteous path for me. Okay, I'll do my best, boy. I will do me best. I mean, look, there's only like two voices that I could give to a dwarf. Either classic generic Irish dwarf or Russian dwarf, because why not Russian? You know what? Screw it. They're all going to be Russian from now on. I decided. Let's see if I remember. <laughs> uh, random encounter rates are through the roof. 